Hey guys, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be doing a bit of computer work. Um, to be more specific, my computer case uh, is getting a few little issues here and there and I'm not too happy with it. Like, for example, one of the USB ports on the front doesn't work, uh, the fan controls don't work. So I'm going to be swapping out, um, I'll be keeping all my internals, but I'll be swapping them into a different case, a new case. So I'm going to take you guys along for the ride and show you the whole process. So here is my current PC. Uh, this is what I do all my gaming, editing, pretty much everything I do on the channel comes from this machine. I'll run down the specs for you right now. Um, so I'm rocking a Aerocool X Predator X3 case, as you can see on the front, illuminated. Um, in my opinion, it's one too many X's in the name of the product, but <laughs> I digress. Um, we are rocking a uh, Intel Core i7-6700K processor clocked at 4.4 GHz. On that processor we are rocking a Cooler Master uh, Sadon 120mm cooler. Um, it's just a budget basic one like $79. I'm looking at maybe upgrading that in the future as well because I can't get sort of the performance that I'd want out of that CPU from that. Uh, we are rocking two sticks of 16 gig DDR4 2400MHz. Um, so that's 32 gig total RAM. We are rocking a GTX 980 Ti from Gigabyte, the WinForce model. Uh, it's the WinForce Extreme actually. The only storage device in my system is an Intel 600p 1TB M.2 SSD. So that gives me all the fast, you know, read and write speeds. And uh, 1TB is really all I need in this system. The motherboard is also from Gigabyte. It is a Z170 D3H motherboard. Um, it's a full ATX motherboard. So it's got a lot of expansion slots, so I've got a Wi-Fi card in there as well. And the power supply is a Corsair RM750X. But yeah, that's, so that's the gist of all the parts. I do like white cases. Um, I kind of wanted to stick with that color scheme, but unfortunately there's not many white cases out at the moment that I actually like the look of. Now the case we will be moving everything into is actually more of a budget option. I picked this up for just under $100 Australian. It is the Thermaltake Versa U21. Uh, this has got a side panel window on one side. Um, you can also get this model in sort of a, a gull wing window model where it's got the glass that goes up over the top. But I wanted the flexibility of being able to mount fans on the top of the case. Um, in the gull wing windowed one, uh, it's glass up top so you can't mount any fans. So I think the first thing we're going to do is unbox this case and check out what it comes with and how it looks before we uh, get all the components out of my old system. Oh, it appears that the, um, the side panel window also has uh, some packaging on the inside, so um, I'll remove that in a bit, but here is the case, guys. Uh, it's, best a, it's just a plain black case, uh, mostly. Uh, we have here at the front, uh, it's got a tinge of blue to the front, which I actually like because a lot of my innards of my old PC are going to be uh, blue, or at least blue LED lighting, so uh, I don't mind about that. Up here you can see we've got a few uh, ports. Uh, we've got, apparently there's two USB 2.0, two USB 3.0, headphone jack, microphone jack. And you can see the, the uh, microphone and headphone jack, they have little like nipple covers, <laughs> which is pretty funny, I thought. Um, I actually can't get them out with my fingers. I'll have to get something um, like pliers or something to get them out. Um, one thing I'm a bit annoyed about was when I uncovered this case, I did not do these scratches. These scratches were already here and I was thinking, hmm, do I take the case back, swap it over? It's a fair bit of effort, but really in the long run, it is a case, it's meant to just house my components. I know it's, I want it to look nice too, but it's just an annoying process going back and swapping it over. Um, so I'm just going to go with it. I'm really hoping actually uh, soon I'll be able to I think this may be like a film I can take off. I'm hoping these scratches aren't actually on the case itself. Hopefully it's on the film that's covering, but I can't see like a, a pull corner to actually pull it off. So on top, you can see that we have a massive vent here. So this will fit 
a 240 millimeter uh, radiator or like two 120 mil fans on top. I think it also fits two 140 millimeter fans as well. Obviously with the other model, the gold wing window that comes over the top, you can't put any fans up here. So less airflow. So I didn't like that idea. On the front here, I like how minimalistic it looks on the front. Um, this door also pops out and then we've got here at the front a dust filter here. So this case actually includes two fans, uh, a 120 mil at the back and a 140 mil at the front. I didn't know that. I thought it came with one exhaust fan. That's brilliant. You can see up top here, we've got two bays to put in 5.25 inch um, drives or peripherals. Uh, we won't be using these at all. You can see that they clip out, which I like, but again, we won't be needing these bays at all. Okay, I've taken the plastic from the inside of the window off, so you can see what it looks like with the glass. Um, one thing I really like about this case as well, it's got a basement for uh, your power cables and, and such. This is an upgrade over my old system. My old system actually doesn't have a basement for cables. So that's one thing I was looking for when buying a new case, with, uh, which was you know getting one with a basement so I can store a lot of cable management down there. Um, you can see the inside is just plain black interior. I prefer that as well as I've got a black motherboard, black fans, um, that little orange logo, the Thermaltake logo, I'm probably gonna take those logos off just to make it fit with the theme, you know? And of course, some of my parts, like my CPU cooler, my graphics card and RAM, they've got blue LEDs on them. Um, so they'll be set to blue, so I'll have a black and blue theme. So guys, I am going to basically set up a time lapse for you guys to see the process of swapping all my internals out of my old system into this new case. So bear with me and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so that was the first time lapse. We have now gutted this system. I may repurpose this case for another build at some point. So the next stage is now uh, putting this case aside and starting to put everything back into this case. Uh, this will probably be a slightly longer time lapse because it's much quicker to rip things out of a case than install stuff. I noticed when pulling the components out that my CPU cooler um, radiator was completely packed full of dust. That might be why I can't overclock as much um, at the moment and I've also got um, some dust in the power supply, so I'll be giving these components a bit of a clean. <laughs> Check out the improvement guys that this has made. It's basically back to dust free. There is still a tiny bit in there. In there. I'll have to get uh, an air compressor at some point to clean this out. But for now, we're gonna. that's good enough for what we want. The fan as well, I was able to clean up pretty good. So now we're gonna start the second time lapse and put everything into the new case. Okay guys, I hope you enjoy uh, time lapses. Uh, it's a bit time lapse heavy this video, but we're nearly done here. We've just got a bit of cable management to go basically. Uh, we've got this um, wire here for the uh, radiator, which I'm gonna reroute somewhere else, like over the top and then back down. Um, these cables just have to be pulled through the other side and I'll show you around the back. These we're just gonna cable tie down, of course. Um, they actually included in the box some uh, cable ties right here. So I have finished the cable management. Um, as you can see, it's not the uh, neatest job ever, but there's a lot of tie down points in this case. I kind of just, you know, naturally uh, routed the cables without much planning. From the other side of the case, you can see that it's fairly neat. Um, there is this cable for the radiator going uh, over the front of the CPU block. 
but I'm not too fussed about that. Um, yes, I could have um, mounted the radiator a different way. I was kind of limited. Um, this radiator here, it will only mount, uh, it won't mount every 90 degrees, it'll mount 180 degrees from this, which puts these hoses down the bottom, which wasn't that ideal either, because then it's it's still in the way of the CPU, uh, it's, you know, it still doesn't look great. I worked with what I had, and um, overall I'm very uh, pleased with um, how it turned out. So now we are gonna put the side panels on, hook it up to power and uh, peripherals and everything, and hopefully it powers on. Oh yeah, just remember, before I do that, uh, my GPU, the 980 Ti, is a little on the heavy side, so, there's a little bit of sag here, so we're going to have to use a cable tie to tie it to the back of the case somewhere just to keep this up a little bit because this puts pressure on the PCI slot. There we are, all fixed. Now there's no more sag, uh, pretty much at all. Um, it does look, it doesn't look the best um, with a cable tie like that in there, but you know, what do you do? Um, in the old case we had a hard drive base sitting here vertically so I was able to tie this onto a hard drive bay and you barely even saw the cable. But in this case, unfortunately, it's got a bit of space there. So yeah, it's a little bit more empty than my older case, I think. Even though this is technically a smaller case, this is actually a mid-tower case. My old case is actually a full tower case. So guys, I have decided to power on the system uh, while it's still on my workbench. You can see here we've got power in because the graphics card has the extreme logo blue LED lit up so the system is plugged in receiving power now all that we need to do is press the power button and hope everything goes smoothly the first time so here we go hey we've got ignition oh that radiator fan stopped for a second oh what's going on oh it looks like we're fine <laughs> uh, that that radiator fan kept uh, stopping um, not sure why that was it looks like we are good to go. We've got our blue LEDs here. Um, unfortunately, the RAM and the CPU cooler are not RGB. The graphics card is RGB, but I've set it to blue to match uh, the rest of the blue LEDs in the system. So let's have a look in the front here. So these fans, I had to move uh, the rear exhaust fan because I've got my all-in-one cooler mounted at the back. Um, so I've mounted the back one with the front one, so they're now matching. I left the stickers on because we're not gonna really see it. So it hides behind here, you don't even see the logos anyway, and this will be shut most of the time. So yeah, it looks like it's all good and done. Now I'll put the window on and show you what that looks like. All right guys, the system is powered on, everything's connected. We are gonna do a reformat of the system as well because it's been, oh, how long has it been now? About one and a half, two years since I reformatted. I used to do it uh, every three months or six months or so, but I was doing my video editing and everything and like I didn't want to reformat because I had to set all that up again. All right guys, so this concludes my video on my PC work I had to get done. My old case will now be repurposed for another build. Uh, I'm putting together just an old system. I just gotta go to graphics card and then that can be like a spare gaming PC. So yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys around the channel. Alright, have a good one.